My name is Ricardo DaCosta and it is good to meet you. Red Hat Enterprise Linux is a Linux distribution and you might be interested in how it compares with others. Linux distributions are Linux-based operating systems which share a common component. This is the Linux kernel. The use of the Linux kernel is a requirement for these operating systems to be considered as Linux distributions. Now, we often call Linux distributions Linux distros or quite simply just distros. While the core component of a Linux distribution is the Linux kernel, vendors like Red Hat are free to choose tooling around the Linux kernel to offer features to users. This means that you may find similarities and differences between different distros. Let's talk about the choices that Red Hat makes when building a Linux distribution. Maintainers of distributions choose things like language runtimes. Now, examples of this would be Node.js, Python, GCC, and others, along with technologies like the file system format that is used to store data on their Linux distro. Maintainers will also often write or customize their own installation software to help users to install or build Linux distributions. Linux distributions, including Red Hat Enterprise Linux, use open source software licenses, which allows software to be freely used, modified, and shared. Red Hat then shares improvements that they make with the open source community so that technologies like SystemD, TuneD, KVM, and many others are shared freely with the community and can also be used by maintainers of other Linux distros. Many Linux distributions include an easy to use, customizable graphical user interface called the GNOME Display Manager. Of course, if you want to run a server without a GUI, many distros offer this kind of flexibility. Most distributions use the same software to initialize and load the Linux kernel. Now this software is called a bootloader and Grub is used by many Linux distributions. Because Red Hat Enterprise Linux and other distributions use open source software, they will naturally feature the same tools, utilities, application runtimes, database servers, web servers, and so forth. But there are differences. To manage software packages, Red Hat Enterprise Linux uses the RPM Package Manager, which is a mature package management tool dating back to 1997. It is so popular and so reliable that it is used by other Linux distributions. Some other distributions use the apt package manager or even dpkg. Now, this is the major difference between Red Hat based distributions and others. Your Linux distributions package manager supports specific software package formats. This means that the RPM package manager supports managing RPM software packages and not dpkg packages. Similarly, if you download software package for the use of the RPM package manager, you won't be able to install it using the apt package manager. Other differences might be less noticeable at first, like the file and directory layout, or where additional software packages place their executable programs, libraries, drivers, and other operating system and runtime components. Red Hat Enterprise Linux uses the file system hierarchy standard, commonly known as the FHS, and it defines the names, locations, and permissions for many file types and directories. The FHS document is the authoritative reference, but the standard leaves many areas undefined or extensible. Some Linux distributions generally follow the standard, but deviate from it in other areas. You may think that Red Hat Enterprise Linux is for enterprises and that other Linuxes are for individuals or small companies, but Red Hat Enterprise Linux is for everyone. Red Hat Enterprise Linux is for you. This is why we have a special subscription called the Red Hat Developer for Individual Subscription. And it allows you to learn Red Hat Enterprise Linux and build software applications for Red Hat Enterprise Linux. The no cost Red Hat Developer Subscription for Individuals is self-supported. It includes an entitlement for you to register up to 16 physical or virtual nodes running Red Hat Enterprise Linux. You will also have complete access to all Red Hat Enterprise Linux releases, updates, and errata. You will also have self-service support using the Red Hat customer portal. And also included is access to knowledge base articles, portal discussion groups, and magazines on the Red Hat customer portal. Now, what this means is that you can learn how to use Red Hat Enterprise Linux, build apps for Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and try out Red Hat Enterprise Linux without any financial cost. At Red Hat, we have a predictable three-year release cycle, and this means that your upgrades can be accounted for. We even have an upgrade tool called Leap, which allows you to upgrade from one major version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux to the next. Now, getting updates for your software is important, especially when it comes to new features, bug fixes, and very importantly, security. 
Red Hat Enterprise Linux has three phases for support. First is full support, which is for five years since release. Next is maintenance support, which is for five years after full support ends. And it's mostly security related releases and lesser bug fixes or feature enhancements. Finally, we have the extended life phase, where we continue to offer the Red Hat Enterprise Linux software and limited support, but stop providing updated packages. At Red Hat, we use a sequential versioning system. Other Linux distributions use their own versioning systems that could be sequential or use other data like release dates. It is up to the maintainer of an individual Linux distribution to determine how they will manage their releases, their package format, the frequency of the updates, and what packages are included in their release. If you need a leading global company behind your Linux operating system, then you should make use of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Thank you for watching this video. Take care and bye for now.